My name is Cristina Briano and I am part of the Colores, the Grupo de Colores. And we were uh, a group that was that we performed at the first three encuentros 35 years ago. With Los Peludos en Grupo Raíz. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's really performed here. We perf yeah, when this was the college. Right. Yeah, and uh, so we, we were invited to come to celebrate the 35th anniversary of uh, El Encuentro. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, what, are, what, are some of the, what are some of the presentations you're going to do tonight? Well, we are going to play a few of the songs uh, from, oh, you know, during that time, Los Peludos, Grupo Reyes, and De Colores, we recorded an album at the same time. And so the, we are going to sing a couple of songs yeah. from the album today. Uh, one of the favorites is uh, La Maldición de Malinche. Yeah, yeah. Which is uh, the story of the 500 years of, of oppression in Mexico right. since the Spaniards. And that was written by Gabino Palomares, one of the uh, great singers of Nueva Canción in Mexico. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's fun to come back after all this time. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, meet some of the uh, musicians. Um, Encuentro 35 years ago was a different time period. There was the war in Central America. There was the farm workers movement with Cesar Chavez. And when it came to San Francisco, uh, it came, uh, one of the originators, a person that brought him over, were uh, Rafael Manriquez from Grupo Raiz, who is no longer with us. But his daughter is going to be here today. Um, and then we, there was like a movement then to, of, of what, they, what here they call protest music. In fact, I remember meeting with Pete Seeger. And he, he, because they were trying to do like an inter, like a, a United States association of all this music. Right. And I remember it didn't take off, but it was a very exciting time of, uh, for the, the American version of Nueva Canción. In fact, our album has a lot of the uh, songs from the movement, our original album that we recorded in 1984. Oh, fantastic. Um, did, you, did you give uh, a message to young people? Well, in those days, the message was one for, uh, like, farm workers. Right. Uh, civil rights, peace, there was really the war and uh, was happening in El Salvador. Right. Um, in fact, in our last encuentro, uh, one of my friends went to El Salvador as an observer to the elections and he brought back the music from the women of Las Mujeres de los Desaparecidos, the women who had lost you know, their men in the war. And they had written this music, and they gave it to uh, to my friend, and then we we took it and we played it at our, our last encuentro. It was a message that they were sending us, you know, about war and what it was doing to the people. It was a message for Reagan at that time, I remember. So, so it was like it was more like. Uh, not so much specifically focused on the young people, but it was more music for young people and old people and everybody mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, who wanted to say something, express some kind of, you know, idea related to human rights and, you know, the working class and, you know, like a lot of what some of the, uh, like Pete Seeger and, uh, right, 
right. these singers. This you know, land is our land. This land is our land. Yeah. But, but it was like more work for, you know, unions and workers. Right, and, right, right. And, you know, and at that time we did a lot of music to support the Cesar Chavez movement. Right, right. Fantastic. So, uh, yeah, so that, that was an era. Right, right. You know, an era. I hope it comes back, but it'll be a different, a different thing, you know. But right, right. Using music as an, as an, as an um, instrument of, you know, like in, like in Chile. Well, like today, we're going to be honoring Victor Jara, who is a symbol of, you know, like in Chile and Argentina. War took place. There, the the rifles was was the music, the guitar. Uh. You know, the war was fought with music. And um, you know, so I'm hoping that there will be a renewal of that movement, but you know, more related to what's really happening today. Yes, yes, yes. And so I don't know, but anyway, it's 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 uh, wonderful to be here to meet with these wonderful uh, community workers. I, I call them uh, cultural workers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who's you know use their music and like we did we use the music to try to create change in the world. That's good. Well, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Okay. And so, folks, I want you guys to know, get to know them. They'll be walking around, uh, getting to know you. So just some names uh, I want to recognize tonight. Ilda Ayala, Fern Echevarria, go ahead and give them a round of Fernandez, Ilda Martínez, Teresa Ortega, Juliana Sampao, Catao, and Jesus Barrera. Give it up for your comité. Thank you, man. And now you are ready for the show. Yeah. You want to hear some music? was at the original Encuentro de Tanto Popular right here in the chapel just after the earth had cooled. <laughs> they performed Latin American folk music from all 20 Latin American countries and the repertoire of music is chosen for the message and for their cultural and traditional value. Please, put your hands together for into activism, farm worker movement, peace in Central America. And so anyway, we're really fortunate to have had that wonderful experience and happy to be here this evening. We're going to begin with um, Viva Huelga en General, which is the song of the farm worker movement during the Great Strike.
which we will have for sale this evening. And that particular album came out at the same time with Grupo Raiz and Los Peludos. We all recorded at the same time. So I hope that you will get a copy this evening. It has a lot of the songs from the Nueva Canción. La Maldición de Malinche. The story of the 500 years of oppression in Mexico. El malos vieron llegar. Mis hermanos en